KUAM News, brought to you by GTA. We start with you. Subway and Chili's Grill and Bar. We don't hear about them enough. Frontliners battling Guam's growing child abuse problem. Peter Santos is one of them. As a CPS investigator, he's seen the heartbreak and horror. When you're stuck at home and there's nothing, no power, no water, sometimes no roof, no walls, you know, like, some people are living real, real hard lives, and uh, people don't necessarily see that side of Guam. And unfortunately, CPS is seeing more and more of our children being abused, many of which have been connected to parents and guardians with substance abuse problems. Santa adds a majority of the reports were made at school. There's a lot of kids out there that school is their safe haven, you know, for that eight hours a day. They're away from the person that's been abusing them. They're away from uh, that kind of trauma that they face on a day to day basis. And now they're back, uh, you know, a lot of them locked up with their abusers. The growing caseload has led to the growing need for foster parents. CPS case manager Melanie Manglonia is pleading for the community's help. Emergency foster um, parents, where, you know, you can decide if you can hold them for three days. You know, when we go out for crisis and in the middle of the night and we need a placement, those are the type of, or those are the kind of um, foster parents that we call for. And on top of everything they do to respond to the cries for help, they also have to cope with COVID. Jolene Borja is one of three DYA social workers tasked to help with CPS operations. We actually got them tested and they came out positive. So, you know, we were stuck in a situation where me and Peter were both exposed to these minors, in addition to uh, two our, of our other staff that assisted us um, in removing the kids. So why do they do it? We do it for the sake of the kids, for their safety and 